All right, we're going to get this stream started a little bit early here tonight. Uh, going to try the strategy you talked about last stream of doing a feeder rod out near the islands for some eel, possibly burbot, and strolling otherwise out here in Volkov. And I think what I'm going to do is have one feeder out there during the day, and at nighttime I'll swap over there and do two feeder rods, both on uh, pieces of fish to try for eel and burbot. Uh, without any further ado, let's uh, get going. Hey, Canadian. Appreciate it. It's uh, I'll, I'll put a, with some more people and I'll put a, uh, a picture up that's got a little bit better contrast. The um, white balance on my camera is making it look a lot more red. It actually came out like very, very vivid pink. Very, very happy about it. How you doing tonight? I have a second backup ticket here. I do not. Let me grab that before I leave so I don't get stranded. Doing good, doing good. Yeah, the uh, didn't get to do the reveal last night because they ended up being the uh, die job ended up taking me all nice. By the time I got home, it was pretty much bedtime for me, so I had to pull, hey, wait till tonight to do it. So I'm going to go over, Sounds seems like the uh, spots up here by the fort are currently good spots for eels. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the uh, feeder up there. Fishing anywhere exciting today, Canadian? It's just about there. So the I believe it's like right here on the two little juts to come out here, where uh, I need to drop the feeder rod. Doing some Mactuba grinding. Going well out there still, at least. All right, so it looks like I'm guessing into these reeds is one of the uh, eel spots. So I'm going to come to shore and throw the feeder rod out now since it's almost nighttime. All right. It's been hot out there. That's good. Get, the, get all the silver you need then, hopefully. Let's see. Um... A little bit further out here, so since it will be nighttime, so you want to go and drop two feeders out here, and then uh, I will just troll with one until the sun comes back up, and then we'll switch it to just one feeder out. I believe right about here, a good spot. So let me go ahead and swap a couple rods around here. And put the trolling rod on one and the two feeders on two and three. Line clip uh, nine, I believe. All right, so we're just doing some, uh, some basic bottom rigs here to try to go after the eel and or burbot. I don't know if burbot will hit in this area or not, but hopefully they will. Um, it was about about four hours between the uh, the color lift and then uh, the dye and then the cut and everything plus the drying in between. And the actual poem itself got bumped up a little bit later than originally scheduled due to a, another client she had. But the pink, um, as much I'll throw a uh, once I get to start a troll in here, I'll throw a picture up to give a better idea of the. Uh, actual color since the white balance on my camera is throwing it off. It came out very, very bright because she uh, made a custom concoction. She didn't do any basic pink dye. She mixed a whole bunch of different uh, pigments and stuff to make it. So it is very, very, very bright pink. All right, let's go ahead and get the uh, orange snatcher out on the water. And I will 
throw that picture up while we troll around the island here. Right up here, so... This is going to be a better idea of how pink it came out. That's, uh... It's very, very, very pink. <laughs> it's, uh... It's full-on anime pink, really. Showed uh, some of my other hairstylist friends, and they were blown a lot away by how vivid it is, because they've never been able to get a, a pink quite that bright. Mm-hmm. The hottest pink, I would say. <laughs> so. You guys voted for pink, you got pink. <laughs> Alright, so my strategy at nighttime here, I'm just going to troll completely... I guess I'll troll around in circles here until we hear some bells ringing. Hopefully some eels will be hitting. And uh, we'll get a few eels, a few burbot, and then during day, hopefully some salmon. Oh, I'm already hitting the shoreline. Her. I hear the bells ringing. Let's go check that out here. Uh, the next pair pole, well, I guess it'll be uh, when this starts uh, starts fading, probably. Don't know how well this will last. Let's say we tried a few different pigments mixed in to make the concoction, and it was a mix of semi-permanent and permanent dye. So uh, it just depends on how well this uh, this dye holds up to some to, up to the shampoos that will determine when the next pole is. Let's see where it should be right about here where those uh with feeder rods are. If I did if I had another reel to avoid swapping like crazy, I'd probably just switch to just doing three feeder rods at night, but yeah. All right, where can I get a spot to get off of here at? Yeah. Guess I need to go over to this spot over here with a little more... Got a little of an incline. There we go. All right, let's see. It's on this reel. Oh, looks like both of them have something on. So we've got Burbit. One kilo. At least now that answers the question of whether or not Burbit are answering here. Oh, I appreciate that, Canadian. It's a, uh, you know, it's a, I've got to play in a niche game at a specific time slot. So, um, it's one thing I'll be working on is getting some, playing in some other time slots, trying some other games to uh, grow the channel. Hey, there's a nice uh, over three kilo Burbit. But for, Basically, the only thing I've been streaming so far is just uh, just Russian fishing. I think we've got a, a pretty good little community here. And, uh, yeah, so this strategy looks like it's going to work out. I, um, I do wish I had a better third reel option so I could just go full feeder fishing at night. But once the sun comes up, I will swap and just have one of those out and do two, uh, two lures trolling. See how we do. And hopefully the uh, the salmon and pike are going to be biting today. For a second there, I thought I heard the bells ringing again already. So we got a little over four kilo on our burbot at Quarry Lake. So let's uh, let's hope for one over five kilo here. Eel, any size I'm happy with, because eel are worth good silver, no matter how how big or small they might be. Let's see. So I wonder... On my, on my feeder steps there, I've got one hook on there as just a Berserk Rage classic hook, and then another as a carp hook. I wonder if uh, eel are more preferential to 
one of the two hook shapes. Granted, eel are a rare species anyway, so I don't know there's a whole lot we can do to target them beyond just using the correct bait. Will be interesting to find out nonetheless. I don't know if it's the size of this body of water or not, but I really feel like the uh, this boat is a lot slower than the one at Quarry. Maybe it just looks that way because there's so much more water in every direction. It certainly feels slower. Start making a circle back towards the feeder rods. Is everybody else joining the uh, stream here doing this fine evening or day for those of you over on the, uh, I guess, morning over on the European side? Hey, welcome to the uh, chat there, Dark Phoenix. Yeah, I have uh, i don't know why I've been taking the, the gray boat. I guess out of habit, I keep buying the ticket for it instead of the category B red one, but... Um, I need to remember going forward to get that. Uh, I do like to ask any my first time chatters here if they have a favorite body of water on here. I like to get a, a feel for what everybody's uh, favorite place to fish is. Out here right now, I'm just uh, trying a, a dual combo of having some feeder rods to go after eel and burbot during the night and then um, back to uh, trolling during the day since I never have much luck trolling here at nighttime. Don't hear the bells ring. I don't guess we've got another bite yet. Nope, wait. Nope. Guess we're just out of range. That's that's something I need to remember when I get back to the uh, the docks, and I need to pick up either the light up bell alarms or the square bell alarms so that I can uh, be notified from a little further out when trying this dual strategy. All right, here's to hoping for an eel. Clicks on this line. Is another burbot. Almost three kilo. Hopefully we can get a, a nice chunky burbot tonight. Uh, okay, that is closed. All right. Uh, sun is starting to come up, but I'll wait till about four a.m. to swap to uh back to two trolling lines. So that's usually when the bites start hitting. And we'll try the white and orange snatchers tonight, see how those are doing before we switch to the blue. All right, well, looks like we've got something on the feeders again. All right, come on, you. Same line again, okay. Uh, yeah, hopefully soon I want to get uh, my next uh, spinning rod, the little two kilo burbot, which will be the Model 1 or the Super Duty. And once I get that, I'm going to put together a couple Bolo rods to try out the Donuts and Sura. Let me see, this is on the, of course, the Adriatica is the one getting the most hits, of course. Which I may actually 
since the sun is starting to come up, let me actually change. I was going to do the uh, the HSV and the Titan as my trolling lines, but since the eel and the burbot are so small anyways, I'm actually going to take the alpha off of here and switch it. Apparently I had something on this line. Okay. A little tiny burbot. Didn't expect that, but uh, I'm going to take the HS or the uh, alpha back and use it for one of my trolling lines here. Uh, and put the big fishing line in. All right, let's go ahead and uh, we'll leave this out to uh, try to get a few random burbot or something during the day and get back to double trolling. Yeah, saving up for all of those will take forever. That's why I'm just going to focus as long as I can get one. Eight, uh, one model one or super duty so i can make the most out of the hsv then i'll be set because i've got two feeder rods already to handle two big reels and then uh that'll give me a rod big enough for the hsv and i've already got one for the uh alpha so that should do the trick pretty well i imagine all right guys so we got the orange there Go ahead and throw this on number three. The clip is set. And according to chat, F9 is uh, active here, so that's um, down in the 10 meter hole. So let's try to head down that way. See if what they say is true. Have some cucumbers here. Yeah, so once I get the uh, the Super Duty or the H or the Model One, then I'll get some inexpensive bolo rods put together and start checking out Donuts and Sura. Absolutely. Anybody else uh, fishing Volkov tonight? Going through the channel here might pick up the pike. Sometimes is a good spot for it, especially with the temperature as low as it is. Otherwise. Fairly quiet start to the morning here on Volkov. Does it have any rain in the forecast, I wonder? Uh, looks like the next day may rain. Um, next couple days would have been nice because whenever it's raining here, it's just a uh, pike heaven. Get some of those seven, eight kilo pike. That adds up silver real quick. Volk's been dead for you lately? I always find that for me, Volkov is like one end game day, it'll be dead. The next end game day, it'll be super active and it just swaps back and forth. It's weird. It seems to follow that pattern pretty reliably for me. All right, so we're getting into uh, towards the check mark there, which uh, usually at least has a pike or a. Uh, Sometimes some small little fish. What was that sound? That's weird. All right, start trolling in here. So, Canadian, were you uh, affected by those, the wildfire smoke that was going through? I think it was last weekend or a few days ago, whenever that was. I know it got pretty nasty up in New England for a day there. Let's 
just dragging the, the bottom there. Alright, so hopefully we'll get some bites here soon. But it does seem like this may be one of the uh, slow days on Volkov patrolling. If it stays completely dead, I may switch to go ahead and just switch to three feeders at night time. At least we know we're getting some burbot hits over there. Alright, through here is where I always get a little bit weary because they do get catfish in the spot. Nothing hitting yet. Anybody know if a uh, particular stature caller has been identified as the uh, the winner this week yet? Last week it seemed to be the white snatcher was uh, the most active, which I've got a white and an orange in the water right now. And that rod just always acts like it's a drag, got a bite on it when it's dragging the bottom. Green and red spiker twos uh hot this week trolling everywhere. Might try one of those when we get down to uh, F9 if I don't get anything. Usually I don't think that, I, I can't imagine the salmon going after the spinners very much. But Worth a shot. And that looks like it's got something on it. Yeah, here we go. First trolling fish of the day. Tiny whatever it is. Yep, of course, it's a perch. Let's uh, just for heck of it, let's try Throw a spiker out here. Alright, so according to someone in chat, the uh, F9 area down here was is pretty active today, so we'll see uh, see if that holds true. So far, it's been pretty inactive, though. While we're out here, let's see if anybody has popped my catfish out here yet. I was at third place for a while. Let's see if I still am. Yep, still in third here in Volkov. For USA anyways. Here we go. Got something on the spiker. Like a asp. Honestly, if the asp were biting, that could be a good thing, because sometimes you get a streak of those uh, five kilo plus asp, and that's great silver when you get them. All 
All right, getting close to F9 here, so hopefully chat was correct, and we'll start seeing some big hits here soon. Nice to get at least one salmon on the line. This is a low David Volkov. There goes the train. Just missed it. What happens if you uh, throw a lure in at the train when it's going by? Might have to try that for science next time when I get the opportunity. This is uh this is pretty dead. Let's check the weeklies, I guess. Uh, the... Look at Atlantic Salmon. These are all on Archie. Ladoga Salmon. Also on Archie. Okay, well. Train snagged in its immediate snap. Well, I guess uh, I guess we don't have to test that then. Now that we know, <laughs> I feel like there should be an achievement for it though. All right, we got something on the spiker here. Looks like a little tiny Vindus. All right, let's try uh, the old standby blue snatcher. See if it hits anything while we're trolling through this spot, since this is where chat was saying is active. I don't think I've ever had, uh, had to be this dead trolling Volkov, though. This is bad. At least for the trolling, but nighttime we can bring in some burbot, try to make a little money off of that. Hopefully an eel or two. There we go. Blue snatchers got pike. Almost two kilo. Rotate around here. This is a this is a dead the You would probably make more money at Wines and Rivulet than this. Alright, so I guess we'll uh, head back towards the feeder rod and maybe it's got something. <laughs> this is a pathetic turnout for Volkov. We've got a whopping four fish trolling so far. Terrible. Hopefully those burbot can at least pay for the trip out here. So we got something on here again. A little chub. Where's all the salmon at? Another pike. Tiny, tiny pike.
Man, this is where I feel like we've been better off uh, staying at quarry. Yeah. Fire rate's picking up a little bit, but nothing but small fish are not going to be worth anything. Another chub. Oh, we got some uh, some trouble hooks from Gamer here. Appreciate that during the stream right now, Gamer. Use those to uh, throw on some lures here. Let's see what size were those? Lures. Got these. So I've got size twos. Those were also size twos. So. Let's try. I'm kind of tempted to try the this minnow out here since they're doing well at the archipelago right now. Let's see what we can do with that. I'll throw this minnow out. Oh, that one's got some good hooks on it. And let me check the hooks along this one. See if uh, see if what we just received might be an upgrade to them. Let's take it off here. Some orange. Um, yep, I can update it to a size two. So let's see if uh, see if we can't get something a little better out of that. Go oh, this roll. This one's still size four. There we go. All size two. All right, here we go. back into the uh, deeper parts and hope for the best. And hopefully we've got something back on the uh, feeder rod. Although with the piece of, fit of bait on there is generally only going to get uh, probably burbot and eels. So I don't expect it to get anything during the daytime. Although I guess Pike could go after it, possibly. Oh boy, a tiny perch. Just what I always wanted. Yeah, definitely uh, a little jealous of you guys over at the archipelago that are getting some good luck right now because this is pathetic. All right, take it easy, Canadian. Thanks for coming out. We'll see you next time. This is this bite rate is definitely the worst I've had in Volkov. Even on my even on the slow days, it's usually not this bad. I might go collect the Peter Rod and go uh see if we got enough to turn in for uh one somewhere else. Ah, that fresh leader from Gaten. Appreciate that. And 
getting some uh, braided camo. Perfect for some carp fishing. Appreciate that. Let's see. Got some gifts from Gamer. Looks like he's not in here tonight, but he's a uh, one of the usual usual chatters on here. Yeah, I think as slow as this is right now, I do believe I'm going to grab the feeder rod and maybe move to a. Uh, old berg or something like that because this is a uh, this is hopeless i'm going to swap these back to the size four and let's put the size twos on These are always pretty good. Go. Now those are ready for use. All right. So hopefully. That feeder rod's got something on it, but I do think it is time to switch to a different body of water because this is absolutely dead out here at night or today. The night was pretty decent for burbot, but burbot don't pay the bills. Some more gifts coming in from Gamer. This is, I've got something on here, but this is overall just a terrible bite rate. Another tiny pike. Insult to injury, low bite rate, and the fish we're catching are tiny fish, so. This ain't worth sticking around. more stuff in gamer here all right so uh yeah i'm gonna grab the feeder rod see if anything's on it and then start him back to the docks anybody have some uh any requests for a body of water i'm holding off on donuts and sir until i get some bolo rods put together but anything from mosquito through bear lake if anybody wants uh me to go check out because this is just dead It was nice catching the bourbon at nighttime, but it's a, such a short window in Volkov that it's not worth sticking around just for that if the trolling is so dead today. I know Oldberg will probably have some uh, some carp action that'll be worth uh, worth doing. But nothing else. Quarry can give us some more trolling action. Certainly better trolling action than this has been. Anything hitting here yet? Nope. Nope. Didn't think so. This is just bad.
all we've got so far. This is uh, going almost 45 minutes now, and that's like what a fish every three minutes. It's just pathetic. And most of those were the burbot caught in the uh, first few minutes at night, so definitely not sticking around here. Go ahead and scoot up and get that, uh, reel these in and go up and get the pier rod. Does sound like there's something on the pier rod at least. Let's see what we've got. Should be right around the corner here. got the fish on whatever's on there it is wow a chinese sleeper terrible all right yep yep not even going to bother going back to the docks uh, i'm just going to switch since um haven't heard any input let's go ahead and just do some uh light carp fishing over at old bird because volkov is dead see how much did we get for our 45 minutes in Volkov? Nope, that's cafe fish market over here 42 silver well at least uh we got enough to pay for the trip there and back out here to old berg at least there's that go ahead and get the rod set up for carp fishing here This one already set up, ready to go. Go ahead and put a uh, feeder on with some carp mix. We'll leave that as a size one. We'll try potatoes on there. Number two, we will put the Alpha 8000. Also for carp. We'll update this to a size two. We'll try algae on that one. And for our final rod out there, let's put the uh, Titan on. Uh, yeah, let's do, and we'll keep it on carp mix and cheese. So that way we can see if we can get some, uh, some tinge. Alright, let's get these lines in the water. We got the usual spot over here that tends to do well. There we go. Set these up. Put these at a clip of nine here. The rain may affect the bite rate a bit, but can't be worse than Volkov was.
these all nice and tight. There we go. Grab some tea and might as well grab some bait while we wait for those to get some fish on the lines. Alright, so looks like we've got a bite on one of these already. Nothing taking the hook yet. It looks like it's the cheese line. I found that I feel like the fish are taking longer and longer to actually take the hook nowadays. the hook fish there we go uh looks like a bream one here nope it's a tench a little tiny tench at least we know the tank are hidden here hopefully we can get some uh good sized ones and algae brought in hey a Small one, but it's a grass carp. So at least we know algae and uh, cheese are working here right now. See if the potato picks something up as well. Potato. Yep, so it looks like all three baits are working. That's good. Gotta wait for it to actually take the hook in its mouth and pull it in to see what we got. Maybe. Is that point? Might be a. Uh, I think I got a size one hook on there, which may be an issue. Something back on the algae here. Uh, just take it. Hope there's a decent grass cart. Yep, got some more in there. Well, that's a grass cart. Not a decent one, though. Try again. What size hook do I have on there? It's the tater line that is. Size one. I may have to downgrade that from size one because it's taking them forever to actually take the bait. I mean, if it pulls in like a 20 kilo carp, then great, but. I don't think we're going to get that on there. Come on, fish. Do your thing. Failed. That's ridiculous. I've got three points allocated. I shouldn't be failing that.
No, I'm a fish. Got the algae line getting the bite again. Whatever's going after that the potato line is just refusing to take the hook in its mouth. Yeah, we got probably another small grass carp on here. Yeah, almost two kilo. I think the issue on that potato line is that the size one hook's probably just too big and you downgrade it to no more than a size two. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one in, swap it to algae and give it a smaller hook size. We gotta do algae. I haven't got anything in the cheese in a while. it changed its mind on that one as well. Just uh, just nibbling today, I guess. There we go. Leader is broken. Oh, come on! I had a good leader on too. Ridiculous. All right. Well, that was an expensive hook to lose. What in the world would have gone after it with enough teeth to great break through a large leader like that, going after algae? Ugh. Well, I want to take that as a sign that it's just a uh, just not a good night. Pull these in. By the fish market and turn these measly little fish we've got in and probably call it there. Whopping not even two silver. Actually, I think I'm, because of are so little, I'm gonna just go ahead and turn those into fish pieces because I am been using up quite a few of them. So might as well get a few of those back. Hey, a bait harvesting game, nice. There we go. All right, so that said, I think uh, because it's been pretty slow, not usual viewers haven't been in tonight, and the fishing tonight's been so spotty, I'm going to go ahead and call it an early stream tonight. So I hope everyone has a good evening and tight lines, and I will catch you all next time.